Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages. Welcome back to the circus and welcome to a cutting it with coffee. That's right. We got coffee in here today. I got a long day of recording and editing ahead of me, folks. I've gotten behind lately and, uh, well, behind where I want to be. Still have content back that I can rely on if I need to, but... Today's Cutting It With Coffee is a knife that has been out a long time. In fact, it's one of the first models that came out from what used to be an upstart brand that has been replaced. This is the Civivi Praxis. Uh, now, we're looking at a sub $50 knife. They have models that shredded carbon fiber and stuff that get up around 70 bucks. This one's $42.50. It's still, <laughs> inflation hasn't hit this knife. It is still wide open at $42.50. It is a beast of a knife that is just a great worker. It is just, I mean, if you need a good size knife, this one is a great choice and we'll go through a lot of the reasons why. But. You even get the pouch and, and cloth and all of that with a $42.50 knife from Civivi. So, uh, if you're interested in the box, there it is real quick. Uh, nothing fancy. The uh, standard issue Civivi pouch. Uh, you know, this is a different knife. So... We'll show you some comparisons over here. I'll put the the specs up there right after I get a drink of this coffee. Got my droodle staring down at my coffee up here. So, putting a smile on my face. So, why do I love the Praxis? Because it reminds me a lot of the knife I carried today, which is my shaman. This is one of the knives that is not a shaman. It is uh, similarly sized, um, similar blade shape, front choil, similar cutouts and everything, a slightly similar handle shape, just a similar geometry overall. And that really made it appeal to me. This one came in courtesy of Sobex. Brother Scott, thank you again for this, the trades, the everything you did. Thank you, brother. Um, this one is definitely the one out of the group that is staying here. This is an amazing knife. Like I said, there are other um, colorways, other options, coated blades, uncoated blades, shredded carbon fiber, uh, rough micarta that looks like burlap micarta. Um, most of them are either coated or satin, I believe. I think all of them are. Um, so those are your two choices as far as blades. I don't believe I've seen a stonewashed version, but they have a mini Praxis coming out. Yeah, they have a mini Praxis coming. I'll throw a picture up. But a uh, mini Praxis coming. I don't know all the colorways, but Blade Show West is going on right now. And they are previewing it out there. They just teased it uh, on their YouTube channel and Instagram before heading out there. Seth and Kyle. Uh, so, if you are a fan of the Praxis, uh... Be aware, there are some new things coming in terms of this model and the Mini. And uh, if you are if you like the looks of this knife, but you don't own one, this is seriously one of the best working knives for the money. $42.50. Pick a different color if you want. A lot of them have these kind of gold uh, liners, which... As a boiler maker, I'm I'm perfectly fine with black and gold, so uh, doesn't bother me in the least. Um, detent could be just a little bit better, but other than that, this thing is seriously just a great, great knife. That drop point, almost leaf-shaped blade with that kind of Les George ramp back here with 
the jimping where you want it and uh you don't really need it out here but uh man uh just a knife that is a, a great shape like i said similar to the shaman similar to some of these other knives i'm getting ready to show you as far as comps um like i said i'll throw the specs up there but uh overall they're calling this like a three and three quarter inch blade which is about right on it's uh, they call it eight and a half inches i've got just over eight and a quarter um cutting length you've got three and a quarter inch just a, a fairly high flat grind uh, with a swedge on the top uh, the handle the the clip hits me right along that ridge in the chub of my hand up up by where my fingers start so the for me at least that clip pretty much disappears and when I go up to the front grip absolutely disappears there i mean you are just barely into the clip at that point so if you need that control and you move up here um no problems i don't have any hot spots on this knife i've used this knife a fair amount um doing the backyard you know landscaping work stuff like that uh that some other people out there are going to be doing i just do a lot of that so um if you're looking for something to cut open bags, to, to chop down cardboard, to um, you know, open up packages, all of that stuff, this will do a great job, and it can do a lot more. So, it's one I think you can rely on if you need to do a lot harder tasks than most of us do on the daily. So, what else? Well, let's uh, start you with least expensive to most expensive and the biggest hitter today is the orion solaris at 85 dollars so um this thing is part of the theater of the absurd so that's where we're going directly to so we've got this crkt the crawford casper i mean we're talking about a 15 to 20 dollar knife when it was available um this is 420 jx2 steel so not a super steel takes an amazing edge and i'm here to tell you it's held it fairly well so you say what you want about 420 but uh this has been a great knife for many many years and has seen a lot of stuff so back when i really really used my oh. that is the one who took a lot of it so uh, a little bit longer than the praxis overall um but at the end of the day about the same amount of cutting area and uh the grippable area i mean you can grip all the way up to here on the 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 crawford casper and with the front choil and everything your grippable area on the two of them are about the same so while this one is a bit longer everything kind of works out the same so you get just as much work out of this knife and it's a lot lighter so uh, this is a great worker, don't get me wrong. Um, just not a light knife, not the greatest steel, not all of that. And at just twice the price, uh, if you could still get this, it'd probably be a $25, $30 knife these days at least. Um, so for just a little bit more than what I think you would be able to get this for today, you can have an amazing knife. Not that the Crawford isn't an amazing knife. Haven't carried this one in a while, I'm gonna color mod this and then give it away. But one of my favorite knives in the theater of the absurd and won this one from Brother JB over at Big Red EDC. Thank you again, JB and Nelly. Hope you guys are having a great time out there at Blade Show West. It sure looked like you were in their photos. So 14C28N, natural micarta. That is actually a really nice micarta. Super comfortable in hand. I pulled the clip off of this one, which makes it even better in hand. But that was mainly just to try and get an even patina on it so that when I go to color mod it, it'll take the color evenly. Hopefully, we'll see. But overall, exactly the same length. You get a little bit more cutting edge on the war spear, um, and you get a better lock-in on the Praxis because it's not trying the neutral handle thing. It kind of tells you where to put your fingers, which normally I don't like. It just so happens that it fits my hand. But war spear is an awesome knife. Um, for the price, I think it was $28 or something like that. This is 
one of the easiest front flippers. It is also cartoonishly large, which is why it's so easy, but it's a good one to learn on. So, um, War Spear WP501T, uh, yeah, alphabet soup. Um, good knife, again, for about the same uh, price as the Crawford, you get a much slimmer knife that's easier to carry, uh, better steel. Then, the CJRB Feldspar, a little bit shorter overall, but you get the same amount of uh, cutting edge. Um, you get a knife that's very easy to carry, a lot more neutral handle, so it's easier for some people to carry. A front choil that isn't quite usable for me. It's more of a sharpening choil instead of a finger choil, but it is a cheater. So, um, I would still choose, well, this one's D2, so that kind of, you can get it in other steels that are stainless. So, trying to imagine this as the AR RPM 9 version, um, you're going to be about the same price as this one, and honestly, I love this knife. If this one were contoured as well as the CJRB's G10, I mean, this one would become on a different level if they start you know making thicker scales and contouring them more um i think the praxis is really leaving a lot on the table honestly um, i kind of want to flip-flop these two <laughs> there we go the uh, damn designs basilisk here uh th this is a hell of a knife this is a beast in 14c 28 in super thick blade stock a little bit of a heavier knife not quite as heavy as the crawford but a great knife all the same um at this point and 60 dollars when these came out uh this white g10 version was only available for a little while but uh you can still get jg10 and tan and uh titanium scales for an upcharge but still 60 dollars i think um i love the finish on this blade and i love 14c um if this blade had this finish in 14c there you go again uh, it would be on a different level um but size-wise, very similar. More cutting edge with the uh, Dam Designs Basilisk here. Um, I love the way they do their pocket clip. I love the way Adrian just designed this knife. If this hump were about here instead of up here, the ergos on this knife would just be perfect for me. And again, this is kind of trying to elucidate where Praxis could uh, maybe make itself even better than they're already proposing. <laughs> you want to send it off the rails completely put a button on it give me a button lock praxis <laughs> um this is the orion solaris one of my absolute favorite knives of all um and the knife that kind of pushed me over the edge to spawn this channel button lock stonewashed goodness um 14C 28N, slight upgrade over the 9CR, uh, of course carbon fiber, these are aftermarket, um, if we put this on here again, um, a better front choil here, again I like the way David does his pocket clips a little better than just having the blind holes on the side, but overall another not a shaman knife, a really really good one. So for $85, the upgrades here now is where i'm like i would take this knife over pretty much any of these even at pretty much twice the price exactly twice the price uh 85 dollars here 42.50 here i'm spending twice the money on this solaris so as much as i love the praxis this knife is where um i kind of shift gears and uh i will absolutely uh love this knife but love the praxis too and uh if 42 dollars and 50 cents you know if you got a 50 dollar limit this knife and lunch baby um that's really it you can't go wrong with this unless it just doesn't fit your hands so if the ergos aren't for you that's one thing but if the aesthetic is for you the price point is really, really, really hard to beat with this knife. But uh, absolutely, 
I would go for this knife any day of the week. That's all I've got for you on this Civivi Praxis. Thanks again to Sobex. Brother, I appreciate you and everything you've done for this channel. And to all of you, anybody who's helped over here, back here, all of this stuff, I, I love you guys. This is so awesome an experience, and it's all because of you. So, until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good, that's it. This is Grumpy, and I'm out.